What's going on guys? Alex here at 14 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Megaron Knives Koryaki 2. Koryaki or Koryaki 2? I honestly forget which, which specific model it is. Um, but this is part of the Megaron package that Kevin left EDC sent around. So you have the Koryaki and you have the Takov, which I did a full review on in the last video you guys saw. If you didn't see that, definitely go check it out. If I can, I'll leave a link to this specific video up in the description up in one of these cards if I can figure out how to do that but I will say right off the bat before I even get into this video this Megaron model kicks this Megaron model's ass but you're talking about a 40 mega 40 dollar Megaron model versus 190 Megaron model you know you're gonna get what you're gonna get but if you guys saw yesterday's video you saw this is a decent knife just not for me um, but I really like this knife it's slim and thin front flipper um, good action good materials good fit and finish and uh, I, I said in yesterday's video too that even though I didn't really like that model that much, I will say that Megaron's, you know, fit and finish and their build quality is apparent and it's there and I can see it. Um, and I can definitely appreciate that on their end. But because um, these are the first two models that I've ever handled for Megaron. And, uh, you know, I really, really enjoyed this one. And uh, it makes me want to check out some more of their premium models. But. Without further ado, we're going to jump into some materials. So you guys can see that this is rocking some blue titanium scales. Um, it has kind of a diamond plate texture to it. Looks really good, feels really good. You have the Megaron M right there. You have a milled titanium pot clip that is pretty flush to the knife. Um, I did not carry this in anything that had super big lips on their pockets, but I could see this being kind of an issue just because of how thin it is to the knife. Um, but for an ergonomic department, or an ergonomic standpoint, this thing works very, very well. Um, like I said, front flipper, you have a front flipper tab right there. You have just sort of a, I'd say it's like a spear slash, more of a drop point, very, very handsome blade. Um, it is kind of, I think it's a bead blast, which I'm not a huge fan of bead blast. Uh, they tend to rust a little bit easier, but it doesn't look too bad. Uh, and of course, this is an M390. You guys can, might, might be able to see right there. Comes down to a nice thin edge. Uh, it's a flat grind, but you have a pretty thin stock. Much different from the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, from the takeoffs stock. If you guys can see that okay without, you know, hopefully the, it's being able to pick it up. But um, as for internal milling, there are two pockets on the lock bar side and through. Uh, no, just two pockets on the, on both sides, uh, but it's very lightweight. Um, the pockets are nice and milling. You can tell, you know, uh, tell, you can tell that there was a lot of material taken out of there. Um, backspacer right there. Of course, it is a frame lock with a lock bar insert, which is nice. You do have a, um, a decent amount of space to get in there. There could have been a little bit more taken out, but it's not bad. It's definitely um, better than some other knives that I've handled before, but. I think that's all for materials so we are going to jump into action next um, of course front flipper you pretty much only have one um, you know one deployment method and, unless you want to pull the knife out like this um, but I will say the the detent as a fly is biting my leg the detent is pretty pretty nice you guys can hear it snapping back in so front flipper flies right out of there you can do the sort of like the rollover method as I mess it up. Rollover method, kind of the, the over the top, bang that out. But very snappy. I like the way the flipper tab is designed. It has jimping coming the whole way up over the top of it. Don't want to talk to Siri. But it has jimping coming the whole way up over the top of it. So you have plenty of grip um, if you grip it back here or up front. Um, either way, it's going to be banging out nice and smooth comes right out of there and you guys can see it drops to your nail and it's not going to be you know guillotining clothes or anything like that like that anything like that um, but drops one shake you close drops one shake you close or you can do some micro shakes down um the d10 is, is stout enough to you know get a nice snap on it but it's also light enough to be able to do the rollover because some front flippers I'm not able to do that because of how stiff it is and it just rips my finger. Um, you can even do it over here. Very nice and satisfying. Uh, it's just nice action. 
no blade play at all. Locks up nice and tight. Very, very smooth on bearings. Um, so all in all for a front flipper, very well done. Uh, hats off to Megaron for that. Feels really good. Snappy. Shakes home um, without too much, too much coaxing. Uh, all in all, it's, it's very, very good. So no complaints at all from the action department. Next up is Ergos. Now, I tend to really like knives that are very kind of simple, utilitarian. Um, I mean, this is pretty much just a straight line. You have pretty much from back here to the tip of the blade. I mean, the blade curves a little bit, but all in all, I mean, it is pretty much just a straight line. And it's pretty similar with the bottom, too. You have a little bit of a flipper, or excuse me, a flipper choil, sort of a landing choil right there. Um, and then you have an indent right there. And then it's, it's other than that, it's pretty much straight. Uh, so it's very, very comfortable in hand. The titanium is very, very grippy with this texturing they have on there. I really like that. Um, it's nice and thin, and it just provides for a very, very good ergonomic experience. Uh, you have no jipping up top there, but it is uh, crowned. You have a little bit of a crown spine going on, which is nice and comfortable. I love when they do that. It feels great for uh, placing your thumb up there. Uh, my mouth's super dry today for some reason. Uh, sometimes when I don't film for like a week at a time or a little while, uh, my mouth gets a little dry and I don't know why, but today it just seems like really bad. Um, so I do apologize for that if I sound like I have a, you know, cotton in my mouth. Um, but yeah, ergos are really good. Choked back or, with, you know, normal grip. I can still get all four fingers on there very, very easily. I do have a little bit of uh, handle sticking out of there. If I had a, you know, fifth finger. But I don't, so nice and comfortable. And then you can choke up here. Your thumb gets way up on here for a lot of good blade control. Um, it's not a huge choil. You know, you don't have a whole lot of space right there, but it is what it is. Um, it's pretty comfortable still. And again, that pot clip just sits so so flush to the scales where it's not gonna be causing too much of a hot spot at all. Like, I can't even feel it. Um, you know, I, I can I can barely feel it when I'm choked back, but then when I'm choked up, it just, I cannot feel it at all of course, because I'm, I'm off of it as far as I can get. Um, but it's comfortable. Uh, the titanium, again, that milling just adds a very nice texture of grip to it. It's not overly aggressive, so it's going to be like ripping your pants and your pockets up, but it is very, very comfortable, uh, and it adds a very nice texture of grip. But very, very easy to you know to hold on to, easy to grip. Um, this blade shape, I love a good drop point. It's very usable. Uh, comes down to a thin edge. Pinch grip works really well for this knife. Um, you know, any, any reverse grip um, works well. Typically when you have knives that are just so simple and, and straight and flat and skinny and thin, um, that all works together for pretty much every and any grip that you could imagine on this knife. Um, you know, hammer grip, saber grip, reverse hammer grip. Um, you know, you could do, uh, or this might even be, is this a draw? Reverse draw? I, you guys know I don't know all the grip names. Um, but if you're going to be doing some 7-Eleven gas station fights with Kevin on Saturday nights for Slurpees, uh, you get a nice kind of a, a, a pommel up here. So if you have to like, you know, ever have to use this for self-defense, um, it has a very good landing grip or landing area. So you can kind of like stab into something, you know, God forbid you never have to do that. But, you know, the opportunity is there and the accessibility is there if you ever had to. Um, and it just knives like this just make make it so easy to carry and so easy to use because you know no matter what situation you're going to be using it in no matter what cutting you're going to be doing with it whether it's cardboard you know fruit vegetables anything um it's just it's comfortable you know it's it's going to be no matter what grip you hold it in you're going to have a good a good grip you're going to have a good texture you're going to have good blade control um and that's just a huge quirk and a, not a huge quirk a huge perk of this knife um and all knives that are kind of shaped like that so i definitely have to give them um uh, you know, props for designing such a good cutting piece and for having such a good ergonomic experience with it. So, um, you know, after that, that long ramble, I think you guys can tell that I definitely appreciate and enjoy the ergo experience on this. So two thumbs up for me on that one. But next up is carry. And I do not have any experience with carrying this knife with, again, pockets that have like thick lips to it. But if you wear a jeans that have real thick pockets, you might have an issue getting it over it just because again, you don't have much room at all. Um, but I carried this primarily, <clears throat> excuse me, primarily in gym shorts. And I think I carried this in khakis once or twice, um, but I didn't have any issues with it. it. You know, it is a mode clip, but it goes pretty much to the end of the knife. I mean, you only have about that much sticking up out of there, which for a mode clip works very, very well. Um, I like that a lot. I don't know why I'm showing you guys the action. Um, 
but you have no you know no flipper tab or anything like that if you have to go down past it for chapstick coins medicine anything like that it's nicely smoothened off no no sharp edges or anything like that no jimping that you're going to be possibly you know catching your hand on when you're pulling up out of there uh, that way you're not going to you know pull the knife up out and potentially lose it but yeah uh you know it's it is righty only carry which is kind of a bummer uh, i don't love that you know i think they definitely it's it's just a straight milled clip i don't know why they couldn't have done that over here um well, i guess now that i look at it i guess the uh the clip is mounted from the inside uh that is not something i noticed you know right off the bat i don't know why um, but there is no no screw on the clip so i'm assuming it is clipped into the scale and then the backspacer goes on top of that or it is clipped through the backspacer into the clip or into the scale uh into the clip and i'm sorry i'm not meaning to flip you guys off that's just the finger i chose to uh showcase that uh, but it's very comfortable in pocket nice and lightweight um and you know it's it's tall and thin and skinny but it carries really well um and it's just a nice overall slim package and i, I love knives like that you guys know that so um, no complaints at all from the carry department but that leads me to my final category of price point and what i recommend this knife so like I said earlier, this knife goes for $189.99, and they are currently, all the variations available are on White Mountain Knives. I forget what other colors. I think it is a, um, you know, just a plain titanium, maybe a black, and maybe a green, I think. Um, but I just made sure that the blue was in stock, and it is. That'll be linked down below in the description. Uh, I'll send, or I'll, I'll leave the link for um, the page that brings you to all the different variations, and then you guys can click on the blue one if you're interested in that one. But for 190 bucks, I think you're getting a good deal with this. Um, I don't know what that was. Oh, a piece of plastic on the uh, the ring. I was like, what the hell is on my, my lip? Um, but I think you're getting a good value. You know, you're getting M390, titanium, great action, um, great fit and finish, great build quality by Megaron. I think they knocked it out of the park with this. So, you know, if you're using Kevin's code, Lefty10, that gets you 10% off. So that would be, what, like 20 bucks? So you can get it down to like 170. Uh, I think that's a, you know, even better deal. So anything under $200, I think, is, is well worth it, in my opinion. Uh, especially in today's knife world, where a lot of other companies are charging two, two twenty five, two fifty for this, maybe even more. Um, the fact that you can get M390, you know, textured titanium, front flipper, great action, great ergos, all for a sub $200 price point. I think that's fantastic. Uh, and again, possibly even, you know, a, a 175 or a sub 175 price point. I don't know how you can go wrong there. Um, now me personally, I'm not going to go run and pick one of these up as much as I did enjoy it. And I did like it. Um, it's just not, I have other stuff I want to check out and put my money towards, but in the future, when I, you know, maybe look at Megron as a brand and maybe getting something, um, this will definitely be on my list of kind of circling back to and being like, yeah, I kind of missed that knife. I'm going to pick one of these up, but, um, I, I cannot, you know, cannot say that enough. I think that's a fantastic value for a sub $200 knife for the materials you're getting, the action you're getting, the, uh, the fit and finish build quality, all that. Like I just said, like 16 times, um, I think it's a great value. So great value like Walmart. Um, <laughs> I am so, I'm so off the wall today, guys. I apologize. That was so dumb, but intrusive thoughts, guys, you guys know what that is. Um, and everyone has on every once in a while, but yeah. Uh, so I'm going to wrap that up now because I'm just being like, I don't want to ramble on too much. I'm already at thir almost 14 minutes. Um, and I'm trying to keep them, my reviews a little bit shorter for you guys to, uh, kind of keep your attention span because I know long videos can kind of drag on and uh, I don't love watching long videos. You guys don't love watching long videos. So that is one thing I'm trying to work on, but I'm going to wrap it up now because I don't want to ramble anymore, but this was my full review on the Migron Knives Koryaki or Koryaki 2. Again, I don't know. Blanking, blanking space there for uh, what the tip, you know, the technical number is. Um, but fantastic knife by Migron. Great value. Um, and again, it'll be linked down below in the description. So thank you to Kevin for sending this and the Koryaki and like four other pass around um, knives that I have in right now. You're the best, Kev. You guys, you know, all know and love Kev. I love Kev. Great dude. One of my best friends in the knife community. Um, always been there for me. And uh, he just likes to give, you know, lower channel or smaller channels and, uh, you know, access to cool knives. So keep, keep appreciating it, Kev. Keep doing it, Kev. And uh, yeah, so... 
ah, man, I am just all over the place today. I just, sometimes when I say things and then I sit here and I'm like, why did I say that? Or why did, you know, why did it come out like that? Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this up guys, but thank you again so much for watching. Uh, I always greatly appreciate each and every one of you for always sticking through my random outbursts and my random rambles. And you guys know, I tend to be a little, a little bit different than other reviewers. Um, I'm not as professional. I'm not as, you know, I, I tend to mess up a lot. And I think the three videos I filmed today have been very adamant of that. There's been a lot of stumbling over my words. Um, but you guys all, you know, the true fans, you know, you guys watch and you, you comment and you subscribe and, uh, I greatly appreciate it. See right there. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm close to a thousand guys. I'm real close. I'm about 30 away. So eventually we're going to get there. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys watch this in the morning in the evening in the night, whenever you watch this, have a good night and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.